Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am back uploading math videos once again. So our topic for today is discrete and continuous random variables. Okay, when we say random variables, it is also known as x. It is a variable wherein numbers are possible outcomes of a random phenomenon. It can be classified as discrete or continuous. So one example is the faces of the coin. So why it is considered as random variable? Because we can use this to toss coins to produce possible outcomes. So here, I have two coins here, right? If I toss them, there will be four possible outcomes because the four possible outcomes will be named as head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, tail. Okay, so now we're going to discuss the discrete and continuous variables. So when we say discrete random variables, these are random variables where the observed numerical value are produced by counting and assumes full number only from zero and above. So do you remember finite and infinite sets? Okay, so we can relate discrete random variables with the finite sets because both of them are countable. And this can be counted by whole numbers only. So its examples include the following. So the number of coin tosses, the number of faces of a die, and the number of fingers. When we say number of coin tosses, we can toss the coin once, twice, thrice, as long as the number of times of tossing the coin will be a whole number, which will make the number of coin tosses qualified as a discrete variable. How about the number of faces of a die? So we have six faces of a die. So when we see each face of the die, it contains one, two, three, four, five, six. So this contain whole numbers which make it qualified as a discrete variable. When we say number of fingers, okay, I have 10 fingers. Okay, so this 10, which is a whole number, makes the number of fingers qualified as a discrete variable. Okay, so here are some of the examples of the discrete variable. So first, okay, look, there are 64 crayons in the box. So this make this variable discrete. And here, here are the six members of the family, including a grandfather, a grandmother, a father, a mother, and a son and a daughter. So the number six makes this variable discrete. How about the trays of candies and gummies? We usually see these candies at the candy kiosks, especially candy corners. So we can see count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the number 15 makes this variable discrete. Okay, so when we say continuous random variables, these are random variables where the observed numerical values are results of measuring and may take on any numbers contained with any numerical interval. So this can be described through decimal, fraction, or a whole number. So remember the finite and infinite set. So continuous variables can be related with infinite sets because both are uncountable. When we say uncountable, this variable is quite impossible to be counted. So its examples include the following. So the number of hair, the number of raindrops, and the number of sand. When we say number of hair, can we count the hair? Because we have hair in all parts of the body. So it's quite impossible to count every strand of the hair. Likewise with the number of raindrops because it quickly drizzles as well as the number of sand. It's quite hard to count every grain. So these are considered as infinite variables. Okay, so we're now going to the examples of the continuous variables. So first is weight, second is height, then third is temperature. Any physical quantity, for example, speed, velocity, acceleration, volume, this can be classified as continuous variable because each of the quantity can be described by decimal fraction or whole number. So as we see that this weight is 188.1. Uh, so this point 0.1 makes this weight qualified as a continuous variable. When we say 175.1 centimeters, this point 0.1 makes itself as 
continuous variable while the temperature, for example, 37 and a half centigrades or Celsius, it needs to say that the fraction makes the temperature qualified as the continuous variable. Okay, so we're now going to the applications of discrete and continuous variable. For Miss Math 2021 candidates are vying for the title Miss Math 2021. Here are the percentage breakdown and tally of votes. Gina received the number of votes, which is 480 and a percentage of 29.09%, while Helen got 450 votes with a percentage of 27.27%, while Karen received 300 votes with a percentage of 18.18%, .18%, while Pia received 420 number of votes with a percentage of 25.46%. So as we see that the total number of votes is 1,650 and the total percentage of all votes is 100%. So now we're going to classify which among the number of votes or the percentage is discrete or continuous. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so the number of votes is discrete. Why? Because votes are made by people and each of the votes is being described by whole numbers only. Okay, while the percentage is the continuous variable because it is described with decimals. Okay, so that's why it's a continuous variable. Second example. Portia went to the grocery store and she bought the following items. She bought one toothpaste worth 157.20 pesos. She bought one shampoo worth 183.50 pesos. While she bought three soaps worth 127.50 pesos, where each soap cost 42.50 pesos. While she bought two alcohol bottles worth 126.60 pesos wherein each alcohol bottle costs 63.30 pesos so okay we're going to determine which among the quantity or price is discrete okay so quantity is a discrete y because it's being described by a whole number and besides the it shows that the products are being countable while the price is continuous because it is being described as decimal and the price can be really infinite. It can reach 0.9999999. That's why it's continuous. Okay, so let's have an exercise. So, okay, first, when we say number of students in MP9, we call it as discrete because students are humans and each of them are being countable and each of them are being described as a whole number. While the amount of water is continuous, why? It's because it cannot be counted. And besides, it can be measured with a decimal or a fraction. So like the amount of water, the speed of car is continuous because it is uncountable. It's not countable, really. When we say number of houses in the village, it is discrete because it's countable and it can be described through whole numbers. When we say amount of money, why is it continuous? Because it can be described with decimal or fraction. And besides, the amount of money is not countable because it can reach an infinite value. So do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. So happy learning guys and stay safe. Enjoy watching my videos during your free time. So thank you and God bless you.